A good old-fashioned shootout in the low country. Sean and Clears pick up their sixth win of the season. Good Sunday. This is the David Bennett Show. I'm Rich Crampanis. Come to you from the campus of Charleston Southern. Coach, what a tremendous ball game. Very entertaining between the Buccaneers and Sean and Clears. Well, it would have been nice if we could have put them away. We couldn't, and I think Charleston Southern had a little bit to do with that, Rich. Uh, they fought valiantly. Uh, my hat's off to them. Uh, we knew since they hadn't won one yet, we knew because the way we beat them last year, we knew it was senior day for them. We were going to get everything they had. And Richard Mounts for them was unbelievable. Mr. Football from a few years back. We kept hitting him. He kept getting up. I thought our offensive line did a great job in the second half uh, enabling us to run it and throw it. Uh, some of our guys made some great catches. Marcus Whitener made some great runs. Uh, Aramis made a lot better decisions in the second half. Jamie Childers was just unbelievable. And uh, his brother was here from Afghanistan. And with it being Veterans Day this week, we wanted to make sure his brother got a game ball. In 2010, Coastal Carolina won 70-3. Yesterday, a very different story. Let's check out all the highlights between Coastal Carolina and Charleston Southern. A beautiful day, Rich. Uh, 70 degrees. And see our cheerleaders there that made the trip. And coin toss right here. Our Congressman Tim Scott, uh, we were teammates for one year. He was a freshman. What an awesome guy. Great godly man. I told him 2016, we're going to run you for president. I think he could be our president in 2016, Rich. Boy, I, I didn't think Aramis was going to play this week. He's awfully tough. Yeah, he is. And uh, that kid right there, Richard Mounts, is too. Great tackle for loss by Chad McPhil. But Jeff Pounds and our training staff did a great job with Aramis uh, during the week. So Coastal Carolina on defense, uh, and it was the defense coach that was going to produce a, a turnover here. This is Johnny Houston with the INT. Yep. Early in the game, great pick by Johnny. Johnny outside arm, left arm, left arm, fundamentals, take care of the ball. Great job by Johnny uh, getting a big uh, change in momentum there. Uh, we see it again right here, another angle from down on the ground. We lead him up there, Josh, get in front of him and lead him. Lead him on up. And the offense now, we need to take that thing and get some points, Rich. So Coastal Carolina trying to capitalize on the turnover. This is Jamal Boswell before he went out with a knee injury. You know, Boz, uh, big old fast receiver, and uh, tweaked his knee a little bit right there. A good run right here by, I believe, uh, Travis Small out of Chirol, getting us down there. I think they forced us to a field goal right here on this first drive. Yep, Coastal not able to capitalize on that turnover as Grant Clayton misses the field goal. Pulls it left, and uh, he knows he needs to be towards the right upright because you know, right-footed kickers have a natural little hook right here. Marcus Locke continues to play with that club on his arm. He's awfully tough. Yeah, he says he feels the pins in there stabbing him, but he's sucking it up, playing on anyway. Uh, Charleston Southern does a good job right here of taking this thing down. We got a good sack right here. Uh, Andre Jacobs caused it at the beginning, and CT falls on him. Yeah, when we take a look at the up top, uh, CT uh, got the finish, but take a look at Andre here tying uh, Richard Mounts up. It's, uh, it's good to have Andre coming back, uh, probably about 90% healthy with his growing right there. A lot of guys banged up throughout the year. Charleston Southern uh, going to get on the board here. Their first score, it's 7 nothing Buccaneers. Didn't have any pressure on him right there. He just We allowed him to take time and make something happen, and Charleston Southern gets on the, the board first, uh, leading 7 to nothing. Now, Coach, you knew you were going to get their best shot, and here's a little slip screen to Matt Hazel. Yep. Uh, I thought, uh, again, our, at halftime, our coaches – Offensively made a great adjustment, and, and the kids played a lot harder uh, in the second half, Rich. Uh, Aramis continuing uh, to go to work on offense. Uh, Jeremy Height here get a first down. Yeah, Aramis was just off a little bit on his passing, uh, threw a bootleg behind Jamie, and uh, Jeremy Height's got good hands, makes a very good catch right there. And here's Coastal's equalizer, Jamie Childers. Wow, that's a great grab. What a great day for Jamie. Four big catches, two of them touchdowns. Got about knocked out on one of them. His brother came back from Afghanistan, so it's a special day for Jamie. Take a look at it from up top. Jamie Childers tying the game at seven apiece. Of course, he went to Wando High School, so he's playing in his backyard. Yeah, and, uh, you know, he's got – he's a phenomenal athlete. Can run, catch, throw it, and so glad he had a great day for us right here. Not a very good job tackling. Bar Shauna clears right there. Get that big old back down in the legs. Quit trying to strip the ball and tackle him. Coach, you brought Cody Craig in for two plays, and both plays he was effective. Yeah, Cody's from right there. It's in his uh, neck of the woods, uh, coming from Timberland High there in Monk's Corner, and uh, did a good job getting a nice gain for us there, and we'll see him in a little while on a touchdown throw. 
So it is now 14-7 Charleston Southern. And, boy, I thought Jamie had this one, and uh, it was a pick. Well, we tried to get dual possession, but I think they had it. And Jamie got in there and fought and pulled the ball out. But uh, they said Charleston Southern had it first. So uh, one of our turnovers. We had too many turnovers, Rich. What a play here. That's a huge hit by Phillip George. Quentin Davis scoops it up. Yeah, uh, Phillip George timed it up on the blitz, hit on Richard Mounts. We scoop it, and we don't get any points out of this, Rich. You've got to score when you get turnovers like that. And that really uh, certainly hurt a little bit. Another look there. Wow, Phillip George, that's one of the best hits I've seen, Coach. Yeah, Phillip George had a good day. Has a pick at the end of the game, secured a win for us. And uh, right there, we, uh, I mean, look where we're set up and, and don't get any points. That's not good enough. We have a, a low snap by Shane Ballard and not, not a good job holding right there by Austin Kane, and we missed the field goal. So it remains 14-7 Charleston Southern. Coach, it's uh, important to keep track of the score because there's so many points and great Break up there by Desmond Stewart. Great play by Desmond Stewart. Every time we're going anywhere, he's working on a thesis to finish his degree. And so, uh, proud of Desmond Stewart and the young man that he's become. Now, Coastal Carolina trying to get back down seven. Another great catch by Childers. Great catch, great move right there, getting us in scoring position. And, uh, again, a great day by Jamie. And with Jamie Childers getting it uh, into the teal zone, we see a nice little dump off here to Travis Small setting the stage coach for the Crescent Bank chalkboard and we'll draw up a neat little play here. Yeah, he got it down there at about the two yard line and uh, uh, we're gonna run this little play that we put in. Uh, coach Brown uh, worked it up where you know the quarterback got the option to run it or throw it. We snap it, the backs come over and lead him through and then our tight end will delay and find the open seam right there and kind of like uh, Florida used to run with old Tim Tebow and Cody runs it up in there and flips it to Will Middleton out of Kale High School in Atlanta. Will gets his first college touchdown. Will Middleton spent time at OL, tight end because of the injuries now, and uh, he'll remember this forever. Oh, yeah, hope he gets a few more, but good job by Cody. He threw that sinker right there that only Will could catch. And it's tied up at 14 apiece, but you got to give credit to Charleston Southern. Uh, they drive it right back, and Coach, right here, this is a play that results in an ejection for Quentin Davis. Yeah, the Charleston Southern kid you see right there is coming in there on top of our kid and choking him, and Quentin got in there and got a little too rowdy, and you, you got to control yourself, keep your emotions in check, and just be ready for the next play. They do a great job throwing to the back corner. Trey Henderson, no, you can't let anything behind you. Cannot let anything behind you, and they get a touchdown. 21-14, Charleston, Southern the half, but this was a great opening drive. Marcus Whitener busts one. Yeah, great job blocking there by Chad Hamilton, Travis Small out on the edge, and great run by Marcus Whitener. I think Marcus had 100 yards. Yeah, and I thought what Marcus did, um, and really the OL as well, the nice blocking here as Aramis gets the touchdown. 21-21, nice job coming out of the gates in the second half. Coach. Yeah, we score in the opening drive of the second half into the win. They chose the win for the third quarter, which meant we would have it in the fourth, and, and that was a good thing. Good run here. Good cut by Marcus Whitener out of Union. So Coastal Carolina tied at 21 apiece at this point. We see Hillary, and ooh, always good to be a little fortunate on the road. Yep, uh, they drop one there, and it's a little under throw, and good job getting it up. Uh, low snap again. Good uh, job by Austin Kane in, in getting us up 24-21 right there by Grant Clayton out of Flora High School in Columbia. It is 24-21. Coastal has the lead in the third. Nice pass break up here by Dontavious Allen. Good job, uh, Pereira. Uh, good wide out for them. Him and 32 are their top two wide outs. And, Good run here by Adrian Sullivan. He's a local guy, too. He and Brian Brooks. Brian played at Stratford. His OL coach, Tony Smith, was there. And uh, Adrian Sullivan played at Bishop England High School, who's having a great year. Bishop England is this year. Uh, so great, uh, great job. I think he had 24 yards on two carries, Rich. That's exactly right. 24-21 Coastal, another pick by Aramis. He's forcing it in there, and we got to get better this week because Western Carolina it will be hungry for a win. Pump fake right there, and they get us. Can't go for that pump fake here, Josh. And with that, Charleston Southern takes a 31 to 24 lead. Coach, you trailed this game four times and you were able to come back and a big return here by Trey Henderson on the kickoff. Great return and, and, and great perseverance by our young men, not giving up and uh, not, uh, not quitting, Rich. Very proud of them for doing that. Good run here again by Marcus Whitener. Don't go out of bounds, cut that thing back one time. Uh, if he didn't stumble there, he might've took that one to the house and. More great running by Coastal, and it's Whitener again bouncing to the outside. 
Right, glad Marcus is back. We've been picking on him, telling him he's disappeared since he fumbled up at Liberty. So I think he's got a little something to prove, Rich. And now switch sides, early fourth quarter. Nice slant to Matt Hazel. Well, I thought they were going to pick that thing right there. Uh, uh, good job and uh, look for Matt to have a big week this week. And uh, he's certainly a very talented wide receiver. And early in the fourth quarter, it's now 31-31, Coach. And uh, here is some good defense. Once again, that's uh, Desmond in there as well as Chris Thomas. Desmond Stewart, Chris Thomas, uh, good job right there of making them punt the ball. Uh, we need to come on down and get some more points right there. What a catch by Jamie Childers. And they called us out there. And first thing Jamie says is, have I got to go out one play or can I stay? One tough customer. How he hung on to that ball, pretty remarkable. The drive stays alive. And then another tough catch here by Adrian Sullivan. I, we thought, I thought there was interference on that play, but Adrian made a great job. Uh, I mean, did a great job catching it. And Travis Small getting it in here. Good job blocking by Mike Lamoli there and the entire offensive line. I thought the offensive line played a lot better in the second half. They sure did, Coach. And Travis Small continues to get better week in and week out. Good job by Jamel Davis causing the fumble right there. And I believe Mike McClure recovers it to set us up for another scoring opportunity. So Coastal has the 38-31 lead. McClure gets the turnover, and Jamie Childers is going to make another big-time play. Great corner route, and uh, Kevin Brown said Hammer suggested that. Coach Smallin, I said, glad you're giving some input there, Hammer. You're 61 years young. About time you gave some input. And uh, great touchdown right there to put us up 14 points. And another look at it from the Waccamaw Land and Timber Rewind. Thanks to... Waccamaw Land and Timber for helping us out each and every year. That was just a beautiful ball and great pattern. Yep, that was worth, uh, that was worth a Waccamaw Land and Timber rewind. And beautiful route by Jamie and beautiful throw by Aramis, putting it on the money. Coastal's up 45-31. Good pressure here by CT, Coach. But, you know, now this was Charleston Southern Super Bowl, Coach. You knew you were going to get everything they had. This makes it 45-38. Yep, they score a little back in the flat, sneak the back out, and get a touchdown on us. And, now they've cut that thing to seven points, and we put our hands team out there, and we uh, we wanted to make sure that we uh, got the football. We end up punting right there to them. I think there's three minutes to go in the game. They're out of timeouts. So we've got to find a way to stop them. And Richard Mounts was able to drive it into your territory, going for the tying score, but here's Philip George sealing the deal. Yep, they ran that play earlier, and he floated it up, and we missed it. And, Thank goodness Philip George out of Keenan High School uh, takes care of the interception right there, and all we got to do is, is take a knee on it. Yeah, Coach, I think uh, Philip George and Johnny Houston both grew up, uh, growing up a lot this season. They played good on Saturday. They did, and there's Jay Mills right there from Charleston Southern, and uh, he's doing a great job of keeping those guys' heads up, and they're fighting and continuing on uh, regardless of not winning. Always good to beat your rival, Coach. 45-38 to 38 the final on Saturday. Yep, we'll take that win and get ready for this final game going to Western Carolina. Uh, Coach, bottom line, you're down 21-14 at the half, and you were able to really get things going. I thought the O-line establishing the run in the third quarter was a huge reason you got the victory. It was. Uh, you know, time of possession is big. Uh, they threw the ball pretty good on us today, Rich, but uh, – in the end, it's a great win. Uh, anybody you play in our conference is getting better. Everybody has the same number of scholarships. So, a great fight by Charleston Southern. Just very proud of our young men for getting the win. Shot of clears are now 6-4 and four after a 45-38 win over Charleston Southern. Time for us to take a break. When we come back, we'll head back to Charleston for post-game reaction. You're watching the David Bennett Show presented by HTC. Waste Management presents Where Are They Now? A look back at former Coastal Carolina Chanticleers. Perry Parks played wide receiver at Coastal Carolina from 2004 through 2006. He had a solid career at CCU. His big moment came against James Madison when he caught this game-winning TD pass from Tyler Thigpen to knock off the defending national champs. So what is Perry up to now? Down in Atlanta, Georgia, teaching at uh, Pebblebrook High School, coaching the receivers and having a good time, man. Where Are They Now is presented by Waste Management, a proud sponsor of The David Bennett Show. The David Bennett Show is brought to you by Waste Management, Coastal Orthopedic and Strand Orthopedic, Coca-Cola, Crescent Bank, and HTC, title sponsor of The David Bennett Show for the past eight years. 
All right, guys, it's crunch time. The game's on the line. You played great so far, but you got to finish the job. You got to finish the job. You're the team everybody wants to be. Come on, guys. Let's go show them why we're the champs. Right now, get the longest lasting, most versatile, and most fuel efficient lineup in America at Palmetto Chevrolet. No one has more Consumer Digest best buys for the 2010 model year than Chevrolet. Coastal Carolina Chanticleers and Palmetto Chevrolet. A winning combination. And nobody beats a Palmetto deal. In life, there is a common thread that binds us. It's not always something we can see, or hear, or touch. The connection that brings us together as people. People who feel that technology adds up to more than just wires and plastic. But the thread that binds us together in the most important facet of our lives, connecting with it. HTC. This is life. Connect with it. Welcome back to the David Bennett Show. It's time to hear from Coach Bennett's staff and their thoughts on Saturday's game. This week's coordinator comments are being brought to you by Coca-Cola. Um, came to play in the second half. We got a little misassignments that first half. Started off kind of slow. It's proud of the guys fighting through. It's good to have old number seven back into the mix there. That's the most important part of the day was making that play at the end. But we'll work all week and try to get better on all the small things that we we didn't do right, and uh, hopefully we can make uh, a lot of improvement next week. The guys did good in the return game. Uh, it was able, um, they were able to uh, give the offense better field position, and uh, you know that's always good. Uh, yeah, uh, you know our coordinators had a tough job today. We knew they would, and Coach Drayton at halftime was trying to come down on the sideline to fire the guys up, but with his patella tendon tear, our trainer wouldn't let him do that. So uh, again, you know we've got some great men on our staff, and uh, we just got to keep working hard and. Uh, take advantage of our opportunities. Uh, being down at half, that was tough, Rich, but our guys fought back. The offense was a plenty. Charleston Southern outgaining the shot of clears 514 to 430, but, but coach, you did have an edge in the turnover battle, four to two. You know, watching our guys practice, and you tell our guys, we tell them all the time, you're gonna play how you practice. And during practice this week, we created a lot of turnovers. Our defense started picking the ball quite a bit, and so it carried over to the game, and so those turnovers were very big for us. And then individually, uh, Small and Whitener doing a great job of running, and then Jamie making those big catches. Uh, he was kind of the leader of the receivers. And how, how tough Aramis was coming back uh, yeah. from the injury. But again, you know, and I think Aramis and Marcus Whitener and Travis Small, Jamie Childers, all of them will tell you, the offensive line has to do their job to be able to run the ball and throw it, and so I, you know, a lot of credit goes to our offensive line. Uh, well, coming into the game, we wanted to run the ball, and the line did what they had to do, and we found the holes and just hit them. Every game, I just, we try to get better and better. Um, I know I'm going to get some touches, so every play that I get, I try to make a big run. Uh, I know it doesn't come easy, so we just got to keep working hard. Don't do too good with pain, but uh, I got a little banged up last week, and uh, Jamie went in there and did a great job uh, last week for us, him and Cody, and uh, they spared he came back out this week and spared me a lot, you know, and some of those passes I threw to him, he he bailed me out in a lot of them, man. I'm, I'm real proud of him, man, and, you know, him getting back off that knee injury. and uh, That was my roommate for, uh, in the hotel, and it just felt good to, you know, some of the th stuff we talked about Friday night just uh, played into effect uh, out here today. And finally, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling pretty good. About to get, uh, get a little ride to the training room, though. And I was excited to come back here anyways at the beginning of the season when I wasn't even in the mix and just be able to do something here. It's just, it's nice doing it from my family and friends. That was fun. I mean, come out of our Georgia package, our wide pop play. We've been practicing it for a while, about almost a month now. So it's fun to finally get the playoff. Tell me what it's like though. I mean, you know, uh, to get that touchdown. It, has to be it was fun. It was a good feeling. I haven't done it since high school. I caught a few balls back in high school, but since I've been a lineman, I haven't been able to do it. So it's good to do it for the O-line. RHCC peak performer from the Charleston Southern game, Jamie Childers, senior from just around the corner in Wando. Wow, what a game. Coach, uh, you know the two touchdown catches. That catch he made in traffic was one of the best I've ever seen. It was, and he got hit. And I think they knocked him out for a little bit, but when Jeff Pounce and I got out there to him, when he, when he kind of came to, he says, have I got to come out for a play? Can I stay? And if you go out for him, you got to come out for a play. So, again, his brother being here motivated him. I asked his brother, can he come to Cullowee next week? I have a feeling uh, the NFL scouts are going to get a good look at that catch as well. Yeah, he's been in Afghanistan, and uh, you know what, what they do over there is a lot more important than any football game we play. How does it uh, feel to see your brother catch uh, two touches? That was one of his best games as a Shawnee. I, it, was, it was awesome to watch. I was, I was so glad I got to be here for this. And you also got a game ball, too. Uh, yes, I did. That was uh, unexpected. It was great for our last conference game. You know, 
Uh, it was a hard fought game. The offensive line did a great job. Aramis played great. Running backs did a great job. And the defense uh, stuck it out in the end. I was, I was, that was, it was a really team effort. Time now for our injury report brought to you by our good friends at Conway Medical Center. Coach, I uh, saw Jamal Boswell uh, getting uh, dinged up there in the first half. Yeah, you know, we tell our guys at this time of the year, uh, you're going to play with some pain. You're going to have to play with some pain. You know, we've been through 10 ball games, and so uh, Jeff Pounds and our training staff did a great job getting Aramis well. Hopefully they can Bos this week. Time for us to step away. When we come back at Sean's Corner, the coach goes one-on-one -on -one with senior offensive lineman Tim Franklin when the David Bennett Show continues right after this. The David Bennett Show is brought to you by People's Underwriters with two locations in Conway and Carolina Forest. Visit peoplesunderwriters.com. Locals love Creek Rats for dinner. They rave about the seafood dinner special. Baskets, po' boys, wraps, and burglars. When you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. On the Marsh Walk in Merrill's Inlet and on Celebration Lake in Florence. My HTC Digital Cable Service delivers all my favorite shows, movies, and sports entertainment. We always crack up watching comedies on video on demand and raise the roof cheering for our favorite sports teams in high def. HTC offers all the channels and features I love and connects me with the ones who mean the most. NFL Network and NFL Red Zone provide the most extensive weekly coverage and put you in the action with every touchdown. Now available on HTC Digital Cable. HTC. This is life. Connect with it. Welcome back to the David Bennett Show. It's time now for Sean's Quarter, brought to you by HTC. This is life. Connect with it. We're here in the Brown Locker Room in Atkins Fieldhouse for Sean's Corner, our weekly segment. We've got with us uh, master bass fisherman Tim Franklin, who loves to fish. <laughs> He's found all the spots around here to fish. Tim, we got a couple of questions for you. It's hard to believe it's your senior year. Yes, it is. Question number one, growing up, who was the most influential person in your life? I'd have to say the most influential person in my life was my grandmother. Uh, she always kept me on a straight path, always uh, taught me about respect and self-respect, always doing good for everybody around you and throughout the community. And no matter what, it's always going to turn around and help you back in the same way. Pretty good. Grandmas are pretty special, aren't they? Yeah, they are. To date, what's your favorite memory of Coastal Carolina University? I'd have to say since I've been here since 07, I'd have to say that winning the first conference championship of my whole football career was probably the uh, most memorable moment of my life. Need another one your senior year. Yeah, I do. If you could have a redo, if you could redo anything in your life, is there anything that you might would redo? I really don't think there's anything I would redo just because uh, everything happens for a reason. Um, I wound up at this great university for a reason, and I've enjoyed every minute of it, so I don't, I don't think I would do anything else over. When you hear the two words together, game day, game day, what do you think of, Tim? I think of intensity, complete mental focus, and just getting ready to set the wrath off on anybody that's across the line from you. Um, just going out there to win and going out there to play your heart out every day. Great, and play together. Uh, if you could do one coach, imitate any coach, who would it be? And let's hear you do that coach. Well, that's that's kind of tough. I, I kind of like you, Coach Bennett, whenever uh, one of our position coaches gets on to us and we hear you in the background yelling the same exact thing. Like uh, Coach Cove will be after us, move your feet, don't stop your feet in the hole, stay low. Stay low. And then just a complete echo. You see, you hear Coach Bennett in the background just going right at it. In life, there is a common thread that binds us. It's not always something we can see, or hear, or touch. The connection that brings us together as people. People who feel that technology adds up to more than just wires and plastic. But the thread that binds us together in the most important facet of our lives, connecting with it. HTC. This is life. Connect with it. A and I, over, t over the years, we've had working relationships. They've handled fires, water losses, wind losses. They've been there for us so that we could be there for our clients. Their professionalism, their follow-up, it, it has been absolutely flawless. If everybody did the work as they promised to do, like A&I does, We'd be in real good shape in this town. When disaster strikes, we're the ones to call. A and I does it all. 
locals love Greek rats for lunch. They say it's the fresh salads, fantastic wraps, and seafood baskets. But when you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed Greek rats attitude. On the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet on Celebration Lake in Florence. Coastal Carolina University Chanticleers need to concentrate on playing their best, not worrying about what to do if an injury occurs. As Strand Orthopedic Consultants and Coastal Orthopedic Associates, we offer all our patients comprehensive orthopedic care from our team of renowned specialists. So no matter what your game, you can stay on top of it. Strand Orthopedic Consultants and Coastal Orthopedic Associates, proud to be the team physicians of the Coastal Carolina University Chanticleers and sponsors of the Dave Bennett Coaches Show. Today, you can find healthcare information almost everywhere. What you can't find is a single reliable source to guide you through your options when you or your family needs medical treatment. That's why News Channel 15 has partnered with Conway Medical Center to produce a new one-of-a-kind resource, Your Health, Your Decision. It will help you understand your treatment options when you or someone you love needs care. Stay tuned for more information on Your Health, Your Decision on News Channel 15 and carolinalive.com. It's time for a Bojangles blast from the past. The Shants closed out the 2007 campaign with a resounding win over in-state rival Charleston Southern. Jerome Simpson closed out his CCU career with this 41-yard touchdown grab, and Mike Tolbert found the end zone three times in a 41-2 route of the Buccaneers. Blast from the past is brought to you by your Grand Strand Bojangles, proud sponsors of the David Bennett Show. Time now for the HTC Scouting Report. Coach, you finished the year out of conference, another SOCON team in Western Carolina. Hey, Western's got some great players. They're scoring points on everybody. And uh, it was either Western Carolina or Alabama at the end of the season. We had those choices. So I uh, hope our guys can go to Cullowee and be ready to play a, uh, a hungry football team in Western because they won early in the year and they'll be looking for a win in their final game. And, Coach, uh, a chance for you to close the season on a three-game win streak. It, it will be a long trip, and that's always a challenge as well. It is, but I uh, hope our guys will rise to the occasion and, uh, and perform very well because it will be 18 seniors' last game they'll ever play. Coach, always feels good to beat a rival. I know you're happy uh, with the results here in Charleston, and congratulations. Appreciate it, Rich. Appreciate you all being here. All right, for the coach, I'm Rich Grampanis. Thanks so much for watching. We'll close out the 2011 next week on the road at Western Carolina right here on the David Bennett Show. The David Bennett Show is brought to you by Palmetto Chevrolet, a and Fire and Water Restoration, Creek Rats, Conway Medical Center, Bojangles, The Britain Law Firm, and HTC, title sponsor of The David Bennett Show for the past eight years. Hello, I'm Tommy Britton. Along with my children, Case, Preston, and Mary Madison, I practice law here in Myrtle Beach. We're now known as The Britain Law Firm. We're all graduates of Walford College, but we're great supporters of David Bennett, Coastal Carolina football, and the great university Coastal Carolina has become. It's been a pleasure over the years to sponsor this program, the Britain Law Firm, all claims, trials in all courts. Come get that relaxed Greek rats attitude on the Marsh Walk in Merleson, and overlooking Celebration Lake on South Cashua in Florence. With my HTC wireless phone, I'm always connected to the world around me. Whether it's simple everyday things like a call from a friend, a text from my daughter, or even an update to my Facebook status while I'm out and about, HTC connects me with the things that mean the most. HTC is your wireless headquarters for back to school. Get three months of HTC residential high-speed internet free with new HTC wireless service. HTC. This is life. Connect with this.